Yeah, 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 man. You already know who the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, aka the voice to make a moist. But right now, I'm on Juice Talk TV with the squeeze, bitch. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on, man. How we over this motherfucker? Got it in the picture. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the first question. Name one thing you like about your city and why. Man, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, Milwaukee is just, like, one of the most unique places, like, ever. Like, it ain't nowhere I've ever, like, Milwaukee. Like, I'd have been in all the big cities. I'd have been in uh, shit, Houston, L.A., shit, Miami. Like, I'd have been everywhere. And it still ain't nowhere like Milwaukee. Like, it's just faker shit in them other cities, bro. Like, Milwaukee, authentic. Like, I just love it, bro. Like, this is my favorite place to be. Like, period. I don't give a fuck where I go, where I visit. Milwaukee always going to be my favorite place. Have you ever had any difficult times in your career so far? Yeah, hell yeah. There's been plenty of difficult times. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it was like a time where I felt like did no artist want to fuck with me. Like, like, like it was a time where I felt like, you know what I'm saying, other DJs and stuff was like getting lit and then like I was like fading out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was a difficult time for me because I'm like, man, I'm still tapped in. I still fuck with this person, fuck with this person. Like, why they ain't fucking with me? So then when I started doing podcasts, you know what I'm saying? It was a rap. 2016, it was a rap. Yeah, dog. bro. Wasn't nobody fucking with me, bro. If you could change one thing about the world, what would it be and why? I ain't going to lie. Like, I just, well, one thing I changed is, like, just completely erase the LBGT community. <laughs> like, that. that's one thing that I would do because, like, not, I don't have any, no problem with no gay person individually, but as a community, they ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't represent nothing like that's positive or to uplift the the gay community. Like, they just cause confusion and madness and all type of weird shit. Like weird cults and all type of crazy shit. But I delete the LBG two community. But no, not the gay people, but the community. Yeah. BBL or natural body and why? Oh, yeah. Come on, now. You, you know what I would say. Like, I ain't never fucked no bitch in my whole entire life with a BBL, or I don't want to fuck no bitch with a BBL. You got to be natural. Like, you got to have, like, cellulite. Like, you, you, like, like, you got to have, like, a stomach. You got to have something I could grab. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to you gotta have something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to have no big titties. Or like, you just have, you got to be thick. Like, you got to, it, yeah, it got to be real. Like, it got to be some shit that I can be like, ooh, this shit feel... You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels good, bro. What's something that people don't understand about you that you wish they did? Hmm. They don't understand a lot of shit about me, bro. Uh, but just as far as the interviews, like, I could say that. Like, that's what I talk about. But um, I know it'd be some people that be like, man, I deserve an interview. Like, I've been doing this shit for years. Why the fuck you interview dog? And before me, like, I could have been had an interview, nigga. You could have been did this, but shit. It just be timing, like nigga. I go through real life shit in my personal life, bro. Like so, sometimes the timing don't add up. So when you lit right now, or you on your run right now, and I don't reach out to you for an interview, it ain't nothing personal. It just be like I got real life shit going on in my life right now too. That I hope it's a question in here for the DJ Jerry personal life or something. You know what I'm saying? Like I just hope, bro, because but it don't be no personal shit. Like I be having real life shit going on, bro, and I don't be reaching out to nobody. And it just be times I just get like that. I be like, man, I'm on this right now, and that's it. I ain't thinking about no motherfucking interview right now. You know what I'm saying? Would you rather stay independent or sign to a label? Why or why not? Um, what I would say to an artist, man, I'll say build your buzz up as hard as you can possibly build it up. You know what I'm saying? Still communicate with the labels if they reach out to you. But uh, don't sign with nobody until they give you a big enough distribution deal that you satisfy with. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would advise any artist. Like, you just take it, JP, for example. Look at Chicken P, for example. Look at them two careers, and that's how you make your decision on if you should sign or not. How do you spot a broke-ass nigga? Bro, a broke, poke, hurting-ass, leaking-ass, bitch-ass nigga, dog. Like... How I spot one man. First of all, this is how you spot a broke ass nigga. Look at his motherfucking shoes. His shoes gonna tell the whole story. If he's talking about he trapping, dumping, he got all this shit going on, and he got some curled up ass dookies, he is a fucking liar. He a fake ass nigga. He he, he ain't on shit. He's selling tuners. Like he not on he, he not on shit. 
Look at that nigga's shoes. That's how you know if a nigga broke. Look at their shoes. Remember that. What's the turn off for you? Uh, turn off. Just a lying ass bitch. Like, if you a bitch that just lie, like, even if you is fucking with somebody, I'm grown. Like, tell me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a big boy. Like, I don't get, like, don't lie to me. Cause if you lie to me, like, like, I'm not gonna trust you, period. Like, I don't, I'm gonna be uncomfortable with I'm gonna be quiet. Like, so it, it don't even, not even a little lie. Like, even a little lie will make me not fuck with you. Because if you lie about something little, you'll lie about something big. You know what I'm saying? Just don't be no lying ass bitch. What's your biggest pet peeve and why? Pet peeve. I don't know. Even though I know it's common now, but a bitch with a dirty car, like, oh, <laughs> like if a bitch <laughs> car dirty, bro, that tell a lot about women. Like if they car dirty, bro, like, yeah. and then when I like, if you, I don't get in no females' cars, no way. But I'm just saying, if I see it, you got bags and all type of crazy shit blocking the window and the trunk and all type of shit. Like hell no, bitch. I know your house look just the same way your car looks. You said it's common. Yeah, it's common. It's common. I be I be in a Walmart, bro. When I be in a Walmart parking lot. Bro, as you see, I'm like, damn, dog, these cars you look like motherfuckers living in these motherfuckers. <laughs> like, but if that's what it is, that's what it is. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? But shit, damn. Describe yourself using one word and why. Man, man, that shit. <sighs> what do I want to say? One word. Just, I don't know, man. It's just so many words, bro. One word, they're going to, see, you can't even say one word because you're going to say the voice. Or, or, or you gonna say, or you gonna say MKE legend, or you gonna say, or you might say goat, or you might just say a nigga that just inspired. Like you know what I'm saying? That's that's really what it's inspirational. Like that's how I want to be. Like I want to inspire everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter who you is, what you doing, you rapping, you doing a podcast. Look at uh, my grind, look at my journey, and just just implement it with your shit. All right. What's the craziest DM you ever got? Damn. Mm-hmm. The craziest DM I ever got. <laughs> so I'm like 18, like 20 DMs just playing and came right here. He said 18. Man, I don't know what I want to say, bro. Read something juicy, bro. I think I, wait, let me read something real quick. Let me, let me read something. Yeah, yeah I want to I read it, bro. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. I'm gonna read it. Yeah, I got. I keep and I got a folder in my phone. Any hate mail, anything nigga said about me, I I say that shit. I say that shit. Niggas say something and y'all try to come back. Uh, five, ten, six. I mean, two, three years later, I, I remember. I just play stupid. The nigga basically said that he he used to love me and he used to love what I do for the city. But now, oh, he got mad because I posted Glorilla, dog. He got mad because I posted Glorilla, bro. This nigga sent a heartfelt DM, bro. Like, man, you posting Glorilla, you ain't. You could have been posting uh me. Like, you could have been posting a nigga in the city. Yeah, man, I used to fuck with you, but uh, I don't fuck with you no more. And be safe at that that shop. Oh wow, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I ain't even gotta say nothing about that, bro. Shit. Do what you gonna do, but bro, if you that mad because I posted Glorilla, bro, <laughs> do what you gonna do, bro. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, bro. Wow, and threatening my life, bro, just because I posted Glorilla, dog. It's your nigga, man, DJ Jerry, AK, the voice of the streets, and right now we on Juice Talk TV, but this is the squeeze, bitch. Oh.